the slippers I've ever gotten on a plane. We started off with hot towels, and even though it was a late flight, Emirates still offers caviar service, so I had that with some Dom. Emirates takes a lot of pride in their beverage program, which means there was a $600 and $1,400 cognac on this flight, and I'm not a cognac fan, but I figured I had to try these to see if I liked them. Um, so this was the $600 one, and it was just a no-go for me, just no. The $1,400 at Hennessy Paradise was tolerable though. After eating, I went to check out the bar, which is for both business and first class passengers. Here's a business class cabin for comparison. Probably the most talked about feature on this plane is the bathroom. There are two of these in first class and each has a shower. It's fully stocked with a towel, toiletry, hair dryer, and more. I already took a shower in the lounge before the flight. So here's me just showing you what it would have looked like if I took the shower on board. Back to the suite, these doors close, so it feels more intimate for sleeping. I woke up to watch a movie and the IFE is such an exercise in patience and definitely needs to be updated. Overall, the flight was comfortable, but the cabin is dated with some mechanical failings at the seat and the service was super nice, but not the most refined. So against tough competition, it did rank last for me on this trip. Have you ever flown Emirates A380 first class?